kapag nag-record, yan, pwede na kayo mag-start. Ikaw na, Cleo. Sunod si Faye, sunod ako. Sige pa, sige pa. Sunod ako dun sa pangatlo, Tabi. Nakikita niyo na po? Uh, yes po. Uh, yung presentation po? Oo. Uh, uh. Ah, okay po. Um, wait lang po, sino na, pwede pong mag-una na po muna yung isa, masunda lang po ako, hindi ko po nagagamay yung ano, baka po magka-problema muna. Sunod na lang po ako dun sa mauna. Palitan po muna tayo ni Miss Babagay. Thank you po. Naka-off ka. Naka-off audio ka. Good morning, class. I am your English teacher for today. I am Teacher Faye. But before that, let us pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, before we start, I will check that and then pray. Say present if you hear. Okay, no one is absent today. I will share my screen po. Class, nakikita na po ba? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, English ma for grade 1. Objectives, at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to identify the beginning letter of the word, enjoy the group activity, and give the beginning letter of the word with picture. Before we proceed to our new lesson, let's have first review of what have you studied yesterday. Class, what have you studied yesterday? Yes, Abby? Okay, it is all about cause and effect. And what is cause and effect? Yes, MJ? Okay, cause it is an I cause it is a reason and effect it is a result. Now you are going to complete the beginning letter of the word by telling the correct letter based on the picture. Class, what is in the picture? First picture, yes, MJ? Yes, it is a bear. What is the beginning letter of the bear? Yes, MJ? Okay, it is B. How about the next picture? What, what is in the picture? Okay, it is flowers. What is the beginning letter of flower? Okay, letter, letter F. How about Candice? What is the beginning letter of Candice? Yes, Elaine? Okay, it is letter, letter C. How about in the last picture? What is the beginning letter of the dress? Okay, it is letter, letter D. 
Miss Abby, can you please read Moses gets a haircut? Okay. I will read it again. Moses school start next week, say, say father. Are you ready for school? Yes, Papa, my notebooks are all covered. My pencil are sharpened, says Moses. But I think you need a new haircut, says, says mother. Your hair is long, but I want a long hair, Mama, says Moses. It is Monday morning. The children are in the classroom. You are neat and tidy, tidy says, says Miss Lara. Your uniform are new. Your hair will come. Then Miss Lara look at Moses. Moses, your hair are nice, but I think it is a bit long. Will you ask your father to take you to take you to the barber shop to barber shop this Saturday? Please cut my hair, Mr. Carter, says Moses. Miss Lara say it is nice but long. Yes, Moses, says says Mr. Cortez. A short hair will look neat. Okay, answer the following question. Class, what did Moses do to get ready for school? Yes, Elaine? Okay. His notebook are all covered and his pencil are sharpened. Number two question, did you do the same? Okay, you do the same with Moses. Number three, what did mother say about the hair of Moses? Yes, Elaine? Okay, Moses' hair is long. Where did Moses, I, did Moses want a haircut? Why not? Yes, Senna? Okay, not because he wants a long hair. Number five, where did Moses and his father go that Saturday? Yes, MJ? Okay, in barbershop. Number six, what do you think will mother feel when he sees the new haircut of Moses? Yes, Andrea? Okay. Happy because his son have a new haircut. Now, I will going to divide you into two groups. Group one, write the name of each picture and identify the beginning letter. And group two, draw the following word and write the beginning letter. Okay. Now, complete the word by writing the beginning letter. Class, what is the beginning letter of cat? Yes, MJ? Okay, it is letter letter C. How about hammer? What is the beginning letter of hammer? Yes, Abby? Okay, it is letter letter H. How about balloon? What is the beginning letter of balloon? Yes, Carla? Okay, it is letter letter B. How about duck? What is the beginning letter of duck? D. D, ma'am. D, very good. How about in the last picture? What is the beginning letter of turtle? D, po. Okay, letter D. Very good, class. Okay. What is on the picture? Class, what did you see in the first picture? Lion. Lion. It is? Lion. Very good. What is the beginning letter of lion? L, ma'am. Very good. How about in the next picture? What is, what is that? Pig po. Pig. What is the beginning letter of pig? P. P. How about in the third picture? What is that? Chicken. Chicken. What is the beginning letter of chicken? C. C. Very good. How about in the last picture? Goat. Goat. What is the beginning letter of goat? G. 
Letter G. Okay, great job, kids. Okay, for your generalization, what do we call the first letter of the word? Yes, MJ? Okay, we call the first letter of the word beginning letter. What have you learned? Yes, Abby? Okay, Abby said that she learned how to write word and she know, she know the beginning letter of the word. Okay, for your evaluation, connect the picture to its beginning sound. I will give you five minutes to answer. Okay, class, are you done? Okay, let's check. Class, what is the sound of gift? First... Okay, it is ga. Number two, what is the sound of jeep? Okay, it is ja. How about and how about in third picture? What is the sound of table? Okay, it is ta. Pencil, what is the sound of pencil? Okay, it is ha. And the last, what is the sound of watch? First letter of watch. Okay, it is wa. Okay, who got a perfect score? Okay, give yourself a yes clap. One, two, one, two, yes. <laughs> Okay, class, for your assignment, draw the thing you see around the school and write the beginning letter of each picture. Please copy it in your notebook. Class, are you done? Okay. Class, do you have question or any clarification? Okay, that's all for today. Goodbye, class. Goodbye. So, good morning, class. Who is excited for our new topic today? Okay, great. Looks everyone is excited. But before that, it is important to ask guidance to the Lord. So, let us pray and feel the presence of our Holy Spirit. So, Lord, we offer you our class today. We pray that through our through your divine guidance, we would learn how to to listen attentively to the inputs of our teacher, may we participate actively in the discussion and activities so we could learn more while having fun. May we value each other's contrib contribution as a building blocks towards harmony and peace, and may we may the Holy Spirit manifest in this class. That's all we ask for. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, our topic for today is identify and use action words in a sample sentences. But before that, um, 
I will going to check your attendance. Okay, very good. There's no absent for today. So I will present to you our classroom rules. So first is listen attentively. Hope your mic is someone is talking. Participate. Use the right hand or comment for your concerns. And lastly, respect your teachers and classmates. Okay, so now I'm going to present the objective. So at the end of the lesson, you're expected to, yes, identify and use action word in simple sentences, appreciate the use of action word, use action word correctly in a sentence, and recognize common action words. So as a review, what is our topic um, yesterday? Okay, very good. It is about verb. So what is verb? Okay, verb is a part of speech that usually describes action. So great. So can you identify what action shows in the picture? So what is it? Okay, it is crawl. Very good. So the next picture is? Okay, it's love. So, the next picture, it's, okay, it's not very good. So, now we are going to um, have a short um, play or a game. So, when I, um, I'm going to say some um, words and you're going to act it out, okay? So, when I say, teacher Clay says clap, so you're going to clap, okay? So, let's start. Um, teacher Clay says jump. Okay, great. So next is teacher Clay says dance. Okay, great. So next is teacher Clay says smile. Okay, thing. And lastly, teacher Clay says wave. Okay, thank you for participating. You can now um, go back to your seat. So now I have prepared here pictures. So can you identify um, the correct answer? Um, based on the pictures. So, will you please read Cassandra? Okay, thank you. We go for a picnic on holiday. The kids play on swing. The dog jumps. So, what is the correct answer? Okay, great. It is, we go for a picnic on holiday. So, the next picture, will you please read Maria? Okay, thank you. Bella bakes yummy cakes. David loves to swim. Emily collects lips. So what is the answer? Okay, great. It is David loves to swim. So for the next picture, will you please read Justin? Okay, thank you. So the duck are quacking. I can cut oranges and I can cut apples. So what is the answer? Okay, great. It is I can cut apples. So, so now... Um, action is what usually we do. An action word is commonly known as verb that can usually describe action in a sentence. So we're going to learn how to identify and use action word in simple sentences. So I have provided here an example. So for examples, for example, number one, mom gave Lisa a 500 pesos to buy groceries in supermarket. So what is the action word? It is, okay, buy. So for the next, Paul reads the adventures of Tom Sawyer. So what is the action words in a sentence? It is, okay, it's read. So for number three, Maria listened to her favorite song. So what is the action word in a sentence? Okay, it is listen. Very good. So for number four, Judy loves to solve mystery. So what is the action word? Okay, great. It is solve. Very good. So for number five, Marjorie slept early the night before her test. So what is the action word? Okay, very good. It is slap. Okay, do you understand? Okay, do you have any question? Okay, Nan, so let's proceed to our activity. So here, you are going to identify and box the verb or action words in a sentence. Okay, so first is 
So you can um, answer it in your um, one whole sheet of paper. So for number 9 and 10, you're going to create your own sentence with the use of action word. Okay, even, ano, please start answering. Okay, are you done? Okay, what is, okay, let's check your work. So what is the answer? And number one, my sister finished her homework at late, late tonight. It is finished. For number two, I always raise my hand during class whenever I have something to say. It is raised. For number three, I had to fix my bag. So what is the answer? Correct. It is fixed. And for number four, my friend is always the first to reply to my invitation request. So what is the answer? Correct. It is reply. So for number five, Dr. Gold examined his patient. So what is his, the answer? It is Examine for number six, the football team dashes out to the locker room. So what is the answer? It is dashes. So for number seven, the roof of the house leaks. So what is the answer? Okay, great. It is leaks. So for number eight, the bluebird in the tree sings beautifully. So what is the answer? It is, okay, correct. It is sings. Very good. So how among you can share the um her answer or your answer to your um number nine and ten? Okay, yes, this team. Okay, great, that's good. So um so do you have any question? None. Who got the perfect score? Okay, very good. So for our next activity. You are going to complete the sentence by choosing an appropriate action word from the list below. So I have here, I have prepared here, catch, drawing, growing, reading, planted, singing, fold, play, and talk. So you're going to complete the sentence. Um, I have um, for number one, <clears throat> can you please, will you please, Anna, start answering. Okay. Are you done? Okay, very good. So for number one, what is the answer? Yes, Maria. The glass is getting taller. It is blank so fast. So what is the answer? It's growing. Very good. So for number two, I enjoyed blank that comic book. So what is the answer? Yes, Maria, again. It is Okay, very good. It's um, reading. So for number three, I love blank to the chorus. So what is the answer? Yes, Cassandra. It is singing. So for number four, football players love to blank football. So what is the answer? Yes, Mark. It is play. Very good. So for number five, my friend and I blank some seeds. So what is the answer? Yes, Faith. It is Okay, it's okay, planted. So for number six, uh, six, I belong to my cousin to the phone. Yes, what is the answer? Okay, great. It is, it is, okay, very good. It's talk. So for your group activity, first is, um, we're go, that is the, um, um, groupings rule. So first is get along with each other, respect each others and their thoughts on tasks, use soft voice, participate. Okay, so for your um, group um, group activity, um, will you please count um, one to four? Okay, great. So for group one, your assigned place is playground, group two is school, group three is house, and group four are mall. So you're going to do is um, you need to think about the things you often do in that assigned place to you. So you're going to um, things uh, no, things um, think things uh, that you're often do in that place. Then you're going to write then you're going to write a sentence based on the things you are commonly do. Then you're going to um, encircle the action words that you use. Example is for school. So I love reading books at school. So you're going to I, I know, encircle the, the action word that you use. It is 
reads. Okay? Do you understand? Okay. Do you have any question? Okay. Now. So, please start your um, group activity. Okay. Are you done? Okay. Great. So, group one, will you please present your work? Okay. Very good. So, let's give group one a Mama Junisha clap. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, for group two, thank you, group one. So, for group two, will you please present your work? Okay, thank you. So, let's give group 2 a Mama Junisha clap. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, thank you group 2. So, for group 3. Okay. Let's give again group 3 a Mama Junisha clap. Okay. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, for number 4. Okay, great. So, group 4. Will you please present your work? Okay, thank you. Well, um, let us give group four again a Mama Junisha clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, for your, um, again, action word is usually known as what? Okay. It is verb. So, what is the importance of action word in a sentence? Okay. Very good. This verb plays a vital role in a grammar and signals to the readers what action that the subject is performing in a sentence. Very good, Justine. So next, so I have here, I have prepared here an activity. So for the first part, you're going to circle each verb or action word word in each set of words so for the part two you are going to complete the sentence by putting the correct words okay and for the last create at least five sentences with the use of action word okay is that clear okay great so are you all done okay please pass your papers okay thank you so for your assignment five Find at least five pictures in a magazine or old newspapers that shows action word. Create a sentence based on the picture that you find. Encircle the action word that you use and paste it in a long band paper, okay? You can ask help for your um, siblings or your um, parents to do this assignments, okay? So, okay, great. Do you have any question? Okay, Nan. Clarification. Okay, Nan. So, that's all for today, kids. Goodbye and see you tomorrow. Okay, God bless. Wait lang po. Tawagan mo tanong mo kung nasaan siya. Tanong mo kung Well, so nikaw daw muna, aayusin ko lang, wait lang. Okay pa, wait lang din.
Nakikita na ba? Wala. Yung present, wala pa po. Meron na ba? Nakikita. Wala pa po. Ha? Okay na po. So, good morning class. Our subject for today is English. So before we continue, let us pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> so hello, pupils. I am Sir Wilson, and I will be your teacher for today's lesson. So if you have some queries or questions, feel free to ask me. Do you understand? Okay. Before we continue, um, who is absent for today's lesson? Okay. Since nobody's absent today, let us give ourselves five claps. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. So let us, uh, let me first state the learning objectives of this lesson. Uh, after, at the end of this lesson, the pupils will be able to identify action words, determine the use of verbs, and create outcomes that affects their knowledge about verbs. Before we continue, let us recall our guidelines in hovering, uh, in having a lesson in our classroom. First, be positive. Second, be, pre be prepared. <clears throat> Third, be participative. And, no, and the last is be respectful to your classmates and your teacher. Do you understand? Okay. So before we move on to our lesson proper, what we this is... Uh, what did we discuss last Friday? <clears throat> okay. It is all about noun. So who can give me the definition of noun? Okay. Noun is the name of a person, place, animal, things, and events. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Let's see if you really mastered the nouns. So I have here photos and you will guess... Uh, what or who is in the picture and you will identify if it is the person, place, animal, things, or event. Is that clear? Okay. Let us start with picture number one. Who is in the picture? Okay, the picture is our current president, Mr. Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Uh, Mr. Mr. Rodrigo Roa Duterte is a person very good <clears throat> next what is in the picture okay very good the picture is a dog so dog is a kind of an animal okay next is what is in the picture picture is mount mayon volcano mount mayon volcano is a kind of Place very good. Another, what is in the picture? Okay, the picture shows an or a laptop. Laptop is a thing. Another, what is in the picture? The picture is Christmas. So, Christmas is a event. Okay, seems to really. Mastered our uh, topic that we have discussed last Friday. Okay, please take a look in every photo that I am showing to you. The picture number one is what can you see in the picture? Okay, very good. Children playing instruments while singing. Another, what can you see in the picture? 
Okay, very good. Akid wearing goggle and swimming cap while swimming. Another. What can you see in the picture? Okay, very good. A boy and a girl holding hands while dancing. Okay. <clears throat> so now I am going to read a short story entitled The Outer Space of Phineas and Ferb. So please listen attentively because after I read this story, I have questions to ask you. Are you ready to listen? Okay. The Outer Space of Phineas and Ferb. One day, while they were sitting in their yard, Phineas and Ferb has a strange idea. They planned a big racket, which they will use to go to the moon. When they finally got to the moon, their excitement brought them to jump by Grizzly. Phineas and Ferb had a great play, time playing a lullaby. They danced energetically, and also they ran all over the different regions of the moon. The two boys had a wonderful experience playing together. That's why Phineas and Ferb felt tired. At that point, they decided to go back to their house and take a rest. The end. Okay. Who are the characters in the story? Yes, very good. The characters in the story are Phineas and Ferb. Another, where did they go? Okay, they go at the moon. What they did? Uh, what did they do on the moon? Okay, they play. Another. What did Phineas and Ferb do on the moon when they arrived? Very good. They jumped. After that, what are the activities they do all over the moon? Precisely. They sing another, they dance, and of course, they run. Okay, what are the activities they do? Jumping, singing, dancing, and running. Okay, so what do you notice about those words? Very good. Those words show actions so what do you mean by those words okay that uh, those means are action words so what do you call the words that show action okay very good it called verbs so what do you mean by verbs okay very good verbs are words that show action who can give me an example of verb? Okay. Very good. Now, uh, we are going to play word hunting. I will group you into five groups. All you have to do is to search for the words inside the word hand as I give you clause for every word that you are going to look for. Is that clear? Okay. For number one, what do you do when you are sad? Very good. Cry. Another, what do you do when you see something funny? Okay, precisely, laugh. Another, what do you do when you are in hurry? The answer is, very good, run. Number four, what do you do when you see a book? What do you do? Very good. Read. And the last, what do you do when you are hungry? Okay, good. You eat. So, um, now I have here five sentences and you will identify the word noun and verb. Okay, for number one, can wants a house. What? is the noun in the sentence okay very good the noun in the sentence is and what about the verb in the sentence the verb is once okay another number two 
Karen plays guitar. What is the noun in the sentence? The noun in the sentence is Karen. What about the verb? The verb is plays. Number three, piano creates music. What is the noun in the sentence? Very good, piano. What is the verb in the sentence? Creates, very good. Uh, now, I will group you into two groups. Each group will be doing an activity. Each group will create a presentation that shows understanding about our lesson. So for group number one, you'll, you will do a TikTok, TikTok dance. And for group number two, uh, you have to sing a new song. You may start now. Okay, are you done, group number one and two? Okay, group number one, please present. Okay, very good. Let's have a round of applause for group number one. Group number, number two. Okay, very good. Let's have a clap for group number two. So for your assignment, read the sentences below and encircle the action words. Number one, Anna is reading a book. Number two, he plays the trumpet and she plays the trombone. Number three, she had not come late to the school. Number four, Anna is drinking water. Number five, the lion runs so fast. Do you understand pupils? Okay, very good. So thank you so much for, for your participation and for listening. God bless everyone. Goodbye. Nakikita niya po? Yes po. Action words. Hello, I'm teacher Josa, your English teacher for today. So, objectives, recognizes common action words in stories listened to, tells the importance of being helpful, and makes simple sentences using the action words. Prayer, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Good morning, class. For our preliminary activity, everybody stand up, let's sing a song, and we do it with action. The title of the song is, If You're Happy and You Know It. singing the song happy very good what did you do while singing the, the action okay very good who among you loves to study a lot even at home what are the things you do when staying at home reading writing what else 
counting, coloring, drawing. Okay, very good. I prepared a short story for you. Do you want to, sh to know what is the story all about? But before that, but before I tell the story, you have to see this picture. What can you see in the picture? A family, very good. What are they doing? Great, they cleaning the house. How do they clean the house? Okay, very good. By working together and helping each other. The, t the title of our story is Busy Children. What do you want to know about the story? Okay, who are the busy children and why are they busy? Very good. You will know later the answers on your questions upon listening the story. What is our standards for listening? Number one, sit properly. Number two, listen carefully. Three, understand the story very well. And lastly, don't make noise while the teacher is telling a story. Very good. I am glad that you still remember our standards for listening. So, busy children, it was Saturday. Let us clean the house, said Gloria. I will clean the yard, said Nilo. I will pull the grass. I will sweep the yard and burn the dry leaves too. I will water the plants, said Lina. Class, do you like the story? Now, we're going to answer your questions earlier. What is the story all about? Okay, very good. The story is all about busy children. Why are they busy? Okay, they are busy because they cleaning the house. Who are the busy children in a story? Okay, very good. The busy children are Gloria, Lino, and Lina. Who wants to clean the house? Okay, very good. Gloria wants to clean the house. Who will clean the yard? Great. Lino is cleaning the yard. What are the things that Lino will do to clean the yard? Okay. Pulling the grass and sweeping the yard. Very good. What will Lina do? Okay, great. Lina waters the plant. Why do you think they are all in the house that day? Okay, very good. Because it's Saturday and no classes. If you were one of the children in the story, what will you do? Very good. How will you help them? Okay, very good. Children, when you are washing the dishes, are you moving? When you are sweeping the floor, are you moving? Okay. What are the things you do in cleaning the house? Sweeps the floor, wash the dishes, water the plants, wipe the table. The underlined words are called action words. Now, we're going to have a group activity. I will group you into four groups. Each group will have activity card. Is it clear? Okay. For group one, the complete it. The direction is fill in the blank with the correct action word to complete the sentence. Okay, based on the work of group one, what are the children can do in picture one and picture two? Okay, very good. In picture one, she can read. In picture two, she can run. In group two, copycat game, the directions follow your leader. The leader will eventually begin to do other movements and everyone else mimics the leader's actions. The leader can do just about anything he or she wants. Okay, based on the work of group two, what are the actions they have done? Walking, standing, sitting, very good. Did they follow their leader correctly? 
Okay, very good. In group three, dictionary directions. Find pictures showing the actions written below. Post it on your photo gallery. Based on the work of group three, what are the pictures they posted on their photo gallery? Okay, the girl is singing, the children are eating, and the girls are dancing. Very good. For group four, tell a story. Directions. Read the short story aloud. Underline the action words in each sentence. The children are in the park. The boys are swinging. Lino is sliding. They are all happy playing together. The action words are swinging, sliding, and playing. Very good. Magic box. Get a picture inside the box and tell to the class the action words that shown in the picture. The first picture is running. Second picture is eating. Third is sleeping. Fourth is reading. And number five is playing. So, class, what you have learned today? Okay, very good. Action words. What is an action word? Okay. Action word, it tells an action that someone is doing or performing. Match it. Directions. Connect the picture with the correct action word. Use a line to connect it. Number one is climbing. Number two, playing. Three, walking. and Four, washing. And five, bathing. Our evaluation directions and circle the correct action word that tells the picture. Number one, singing or dancing. Okay, very good. The first picture is dancing. Number two, running, walking. Okay, very good. The second picture is running. Number three, drinking, eating. Okay, the third picture is drinking, playing, writing. Okay, very good. The fourth picture is writing, cooking, washing. Okay, very good. The last number is cooking. And for your assignment, paste a picture that shows action and make two simple sentences about it. That's all for today, class. Goodbye. Okay, class, I'm your teacher, Mary Jane, and before we start to our new lesson, let us pray first. Bow your head and let us pray. Angel of God, my guardians dear, to whom God's love commit me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Presenting na po. Wala pa. Okay, class, before we proceed to our objective for this day, let us review first. What was our lesson yesterday? Anyone? Okay. 
Yes, pay. Okay, declarative sentence. What about, what is declara declarative sentence? Okay, thank you. Okay, declarative sentence is a sentence that make us a statement, provide facts, offer an explanation, explanation or convey information. Thank you, Faye. Very good. Okay, our objectives for today. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to identify the visual and multimedia elements which contribute to the meaning of a text, describe visual and multimedia elements which contribute to the meaning of the text, and last, use visual and multimedia elements to give meaning of a text. Now I will show you the advertisement which is more effective advertisement on the left side or the right side? Okay, very good. And the left side. Because these ones look more attractive. Am I correct? Okay, very good. With so many sources of information these days, how to how do writer how do writers and publishing companies or owners of establishment deal with the competition. Anyone? Okay. Thank you, Andrea. They make us, they make use of different attractive visual presentation and other multimedia elements. Okay. Today we will analyze how visual and multimedia elements facilitate learning. By the way, what are the visual, visual media and multimedia element? Anyone? Okay. Yes, Chrisaly. Okay. Visual and multimedia elements are pictures, drawings, or any visual materials used in advertising. Visual and multimedia element elements such as photographs, drawing, sounds, video. Graphics and animation help in the development, development of understanding, thus making the reading materials really meaningful, knowing these different elements and what they mean or suggest make the text come alive and contribute the le reader knowledge. One should be aware of this as many are now adapting to this kind of communication strategy to relay information, just like if we don't know about hypnonite, a feature of rock and what it does to super, Superman would let you know that it hurts him. Now I will show you an advertisement again. Okay, class. What is the advertisement about? Anyone? Okay. How about... Andrea, yes, it's about smoking or use of cigarettes. Thank you. What are the use of, what are, what was to you, what was to convince, convince us about the ad? Okay. Okay. Very good. It used visuals or pictures that will get our attention. Excellent. Thank you. Is the ad effective or not? Yes, Ali? Yes, because the viewers can really get the meaning of the warning by using those pictures that would actually make you think to quit smoking habit. Okay, thank you. Smoking has some bad effect in our health. It can cause cancer, disease, heart disease, stroke, lungs disease, diabetes, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD which include empathy and chronic bronchi bronchitis. Smoking also increases risk of tuberculosis, certain eye disease and problem of the immune system including rheumatoid ar arteries. That's why we really need to quit from smoking habit for the benefit of our own health. 
ओके क्लास We will have a group activity. You are going to answer a question to the source given to you. Then after you finish, you can post your answers. Okay. Assume that the student do the said activity. Let's proceed to another. Say yes if you are agree in the statement below. And no, if you don't. Number one, there are more duckling, ducklings in feature A than B. Yes or no? Okay, very good. Yes. And number two, the animals in feature B are two more than in A. Yes or no? Okay, very good. No. Why? Because in feature A, there are 17 animals compared to the feature B, which has only 16 animals. Excellent. And number three, it's early morning when girl A feed the animals. Your answer is yes. And four, girl B is more than ready to feed the farm animals. Okay, no. Why? Very good because he was feeding his animals at noon. And last number, the chicks in feature A long for their mother in midday. The answer is yes. Very good. I, I have your activity. Okay, number one. He is delicate. A, B, or C? The answer is? Yes, Ronaldy. Letter A. And for number two, it signifies who? Letter A, letter B, or letter C? Yes, Andrea. Okay, the answer is letter C. Thank you, very good. And for number three, it make us healthy. Letter A, letter B, or letter C. Okay, very good. Letter B. And for number four, it provides reliable information. Letter A, letter B, or letter C. The answer is letter C. Thank you. I, I will give you 15 minutes to answer this activity, okay? Before you answer the activity, I will read first the direction. Answer with agree or disagree of five graph. Trans number one, questions. Transportation is the most allocated and expenditures. Number two, question. Jamaica spent too much on her food allowance. And number three, questions. Saving get the lion's among the expenses. Number four, 10% of Jamaica expenses goes to notebooks, papers, and writing materials. And last number, the total expenditure spent by Jamaica in saving and transportation in 25%. Okay, are you done? Okay, thank you. Okay, class. How do visual and multimedia elements contribute to the meaning of the text? Anyone? Okay, Andrea. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, visual and multimedia elements such as photographs, drawing, sounds, video, graphics, and animation help in the development of understanding thus making the materials real meaningful. They aid in relaying the Message of text, making it clearer and easier to understand. Okay, for your activity, ready for one one for sheet of paper and answer the following letter. Answer the following questions. Here's the activity. Number one, we in which shirt would make one offer taller? Letter A, letter B. Letter C or letter D? 
Okay, letter A. Number two. How are you going to drive in a road with this signage? A, fast, B, carefully, C, bit by bit, D, gradually. Okay, letter C, a letter D. And number three, complete the title of the story with the scenes on the left side. The blank row. Letter A, clever. Letter B, active. Letter C, black. And letter D, jolly. What's your answer? Okay, letter C, black. And for number four, what activity do you think is happening in the in a nearby barangay with this sound wave? A, mass. B, concert. C, burial. D, wedding. The answer is, okay, letter C. And we're, for number five, for the last number, the uh, editorial cartoon show, letter A, Filipino as food of the octopus. Letter B, the octopus enjoying the Filipino as his toy. And letter C, the octopus trying to uh, trying up to the Filipino with his tentacles. And letter D, the Filipino suffering from corruption. What's your answer? Okay, letter Letter D. Okay, for your assignments, write or print your own kind of advertisement. Do you have any question or clarification before we end for our discussion today? Okay, none. Okay, it's already time. Goodbye class and thank you for your participating this class. Okay, thank you. Okay, class, good morning. I am Jessalyn Heidenauer and I am the teacher for today. Okay, class, good morning. I am Jessalyn Heidenauer for today. But, please, but. but Okay, class, good morning. I am Jessen Tidener and I am your teacher for today. Today, lesson, we have CBC. But before our topic, let's proceed to our prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, class, before our topic, I will check your attendance. Okay, no one's upset. Okay, class, how are you today? Okay, class, okay, good. No class, I have a picture, then I have a question. Can you see a picture? Hey. Okay, class, there wasn't a children in the picture. And how about the way they sit? What can you say about? Okay, class, they are sitting properly. And so now, our first classroom rule is sit down properly. Again, what is our first classroom rule? Okay, class, very good. Our, our first classroom rule is sit down properly. Okay, class, what can else say, see about the picture? Okay, class, did you see that the boy here is facing hand and then the other is all facing hand? Okay, so our second 
question rule is if you have a question raise hand first now take a look the teacher if teacher is talking to children yes how about children talking to the teacher yes no so meaning our three classroom is do not talk to your siblings or your teacher when they talking very okay, very good so in class what are the those three classroom rules okay the first is setting properly and the second is don't talk to your teacher and then third is raise your hand if you have a question so this morning we will have a new lesson but before that we will sing another song again do you know that this song the class a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t w x y z now i know my a b c the class did you get it so based on the song we have no idea about the lesson for today okay very good thing of course our lesson for today is about alphabet and the vowels in the alphabet i r e e o u so they have five letters so the consonant are b c d f g h j k l m n p q r s t b w x y and z the total is 21 letters for class now our lesson for today is about c b c words the consonant vowel today we we'll talk us about the vowel of a I have a picture. Did you see it? For class, inside the picture, please name it. For class, its letter A is hot, my pal, rat, and others. Now, tell me. No class, tell me what is the emoji is this? Class, it's sad. It's S A D. Now, did you see a bug? Okay. This is bug. Capital B A and G. And the next picture is car. Capital C A R. And then the other one is let me see how yes it's H A M and last one is did you see this this yes it's done capital D A D class did you see that the all have three letters. And this emoji is three letters A, S, A, and D. Next is that D, A, and D. Next is hum, H, A, and M. And the following is bug in car. Okay, last. I have a C, B, C words. Then can you point out what they said? They say in class. This man is same. Can you see this man is same to this? And then, have you seen hat? Okay. Then it have you seen man, pan, fan, ban, bar, rat, and mat. Okay, the, they have but Then, they have man in mud then they have hat and rat and the last one is fun and fun okay class do you know the cbc words 
Okay, who wants to go and pratt and point out the words? Did you see? It last. This C is you can point out in the pan. You can also point man in a mark. And then bar, bar into bar, then fun into fun. Okay. Class, I have another question. Did you know that the CBC words is three letters? Okay, Rita, po. Can you give an example of CBC word? Okay, good. It's hard. Okay, just me. Can you? Give a word the start of CBC word A. Okay. A. Okay, class. What did you learn today? Okay, bring on po. Yes, it's about CBC word in usage of CBC words in letter. Okay, this mean what is CBC? Very good. It consists of B letters that consonant vowels. To form a word. Okay, Mayra, did you have a question? Okay, no. Okay, do you think the letter A is very important? Yes, Mayra. It's important because without A, we cannot form a word like that and many more. Okay, class, for our, for our activity, find at least five words. And it used the vowel of E. Okay, class, did you did you get it? The word B, bed, pen, leg, net, and then. Okay, class, you're very good today. For your assignment today, class, draw your family that start from CBC words A and E. Okay, class, do you have a clarification, question, or others? Okay, we have no question for today. So, goodbye, class, and see you tomorrow. Ma'am, pwede pa po mag-demo ng isa? Okay, before we start, anyone can remember what is our lesson yesterday? Okay, very good. Our topic yesterday is about compound word. What is compound word? Compound word is made up of two words. It meaning it's different from each other. So now I have when you when you hear the word teacher, what comes into your mind? Okay, fun, sun, fun, sun, and waves. Okay, I have here some story.
The title is Mouse at the Sea Shore. A mouse told his mother and father that he was going on a trip to the seashore. We are very alarmed that they cried, the world is full of terror, you must not go. I have already decided, said the mouse firmly. I have never seen the ocean and it is highly time that I did nothing can make me change my mind. Then we cannot stop you, said mother and father, mouse. But do be careful. Early the next day, the mouse began the journey even before the morning and had, and had ended, the mouse seemed to know trouble and fear. A cat jumped out from behind a tree. I will eat you for lunch, he said. It was a narrow escape for the mouse. He ran for his life, but he left part of his tail in the mouth of the cat. By afternoon, the mouse had been attacked by birds and dogs. He had lost his wings several times. He was rushed and bladed. He was tired and frightened. At the evening, the mouse slowly climbed the last hill and saw the seashore spread, spreading out before him. He watched the waves rolling onto the ocean. One after another, all the colors of the sunset filled the sky. How beautiful, cried and cried the mouse. I wish that mother and father were here to see this with me. The moon and the stars began to appear over the ocean. The mouse sat silently on the top of the hill and felt very happy and peaceful. Okay, uh, the title of the story is Mouse and the Teacher. Okay, I have a question. Who was going on the trip to the sea? Okay, the mouse. What did his parents say? They say that they are very alarmed that the world is full of terrors and we must not go. Number four, number three, what happened to him on his journey to seashore? Okay, very good. He chased by a cat and left rushed and he, he is flooded. Okay, for the... Um, concrete nouns, concrete nouns and abstract nouns. Concrete nouns are nouns that can be seen, hear, smell, taste, or felt. And the abstract noun is show virtues, traits, characteristics, or qualities. They cannot be seen, heard, smell, or taste. So now in the story, let's underline what is the abstract noun, abstract noun, and concrete noun. Okay, the Okay, the concrete noun is the mouse, cat, bird, and dog. For the abstract noun is tired, frightened, happy, and peaceful. I'm complete now. For your activity, activity one, pick out the complete nouns in each sentence, write your answer in your notebook. Number one, on Benedict's seventh birthday, he received a new bicycle and remote control, toy car and ball. What is the complete noun? The bicycle, remote control, toy car and ball. John Hart's mother bought apples, grapes, and singles for him and his brother. The concrete noun is the apples, grapes, and mangoes. Mr. Twin loves reading books, magazines, and newspapers. The concrete noun is books, magazines, and newspapers. Number four. 
Which do you prefer to eat? A banana cake or a chocolate cake? The complete noun is the banana cake and chocolate cake. And for the last number five, do plants need soil, water, and sunlight in order to grow? The complete noun is soil, water, and sunlight. For activity number two, look for the abstract noun in each sentence. Write them in your notebook. For number one, I should have patience while waiting for Christmas. The abstract noun is patient. For number two, Bogart had a happy childhood. Happy. And humility is seen in her words and actions. The abstract noun is humility. Number four, Alberto has much pride in his heart. The abstract noun is pride. For the last number five, my father, my grandfather Solomon has great wisdom and the Abstract noun is wisdom. Okay. Concrete noun is a physical object in real world such as dog, ball, or an ice or an ice cream. And abstract noun refers to an idea or concept that does not exist in the real world and cannot be touched like freedom, sadness, or Permissions. And for your assignment, write an write for your assignment, write a letter of apology to your parents saying how sorry are you for disobeying them. Use concrete and, and abstract noun. And that's all. Thank you. Any questions or clarifications? Okay. Goodbye, class.